Welcome to Braylon AV. Today, we'll talk about 16 Millionaire Financial Literacy Tips. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell. Having an understanding of finance enables you to make wiser money decisions and have financial independence. Making and achieving your financial objectives, whether they be to purchase a house, save for your children's college education or donate to worthy causes, is the focus of personal finance. These phrases only indicate that you have a fundamental grasp of finances. Here are some methods to improve your financial literacy and make your money work harder for you and your family, no matter where you are in your financial path. Let's get going. Number 1. The Wealthy Read Personal Finance Books There are many of books available to learn about personal finance. Spend at least a couple of hours every week reading on budgeting, investing, and other money topics. Personal finance books will be essential in your quest to become financially savvy as you get started. Number 2. The Rich Keep a Budget If you don't understand where your money is going each month, no amount of financial advice from professionals will be of much use. Use a straightforward spreadsheet or internet tools to start keeping track of your expenditures and create a budget. Number 3. Talk to a financial professional. Your financial queries may be addressed by a financial expert, whether they relate to straightforward short-term financial issues or more intricate long-term ones. They may also assist you in creating a strategy for all of your financial requirements and support you in staying on course moving ahead. Number 4. Use Tech Money management doesn't have to be difficult or tedious. There are many instruments for managing money that are available to you thanks to technology and the internet. But these financial resources may also teach you a lot in addition to aiding in the organization and visualization of your life. A lot of these resources offer excellent learning blogs or centers. Number 5. Listen to Wealth Podcasts. Reading might be difficult to fit into your schedule. Podcasts are ideal if you lead a hectic personal and professional life. Number 6. Take a Financial Literacy Course. A financial literacy workshop or course is a great alternative to books and internet resources. Whether it be at an adult education facility, college course, online school, etc. If you believe you need the framework to study or want to take things a step further, do this. Online courses that are free can also be quite educational. Number 7. Millionaires do the math. You'll need to use some of the most fundamental arithmetic abilities if you want to be financially literate. Refresh your math skills or research some simple formulae that will help you budget, arrange your finances, and calculate savings rates. We're aware that spreadsheets or computer programs can simplify this. It's okay if you do, but understand how the math works, why the number is what it is, and be able to compute it for yourself if necessary. Number 8. The rich have an investor mentality. You'll learn to overcome the consumer mentality and cultivate an investment attitude as you progress in your financial literacy. Number 9. Millionaires Gain Control You are in control of your own finances, do not allow money to dominate you. Sit down, focus, concentrate on your budget and where you want it to go. As a result, you feel more in control of your finances and more empowered. Number 10. Eliminate debt. One of the main challenges facing today's younger generations is debt. When you receive financial education, you begin to truly comprehend how debt functions, interest rates, and how to prevent debt catastrophes. It can also assist you in developing a strategy for investing and paying off any existing debt. Number 11. Set financial goals. You'll be more motivated to establish objectives for yourself as you develop financial knowledge. In addition, you could feel motivated and enthusiastic about working toward those objectives. Number 12. The rich have a plan. With a plan, you can budget your spending and use the extra to save and invest. You won't be able to keep tabs on your expenditures if you don't have a budget plan. 
you must first take note of your monthly revenue before tracking your spending in order to create a strategy. Account for all of your fixed costs. After keeping track of your significant expenditures, be careful to establish your financial objectives, such as conserving money. Short-term and long-term financial goals are two different categories. Once you've completed all of these steps, make sure to finish your strategy and stick to it if you want to become financially wealthy. Number 13. Understand your credit score. Lenders perceive borrowers as trustworthy when they make on-time credit bill payments. They start to establish a credit history and receive a better credit score, both of which will make it easier for them to get future loans. Your credit report, which is a summary of your financial position, is something else you should be aware of. You can identify any mistakes or false entries in your credit report and take legal action to recover the damage by analyzing it. You might use this report to monitor your expenditures and gradually raise your credit score. Number 14. Understanding Loans There are two methods for paying off debt quickly. One strategy is to figure out which loan has the highest interest rate and pay it off first to lower the overall amount of interest you will have to pay. When you have paid off this debt, you may concentrate on repaying the loan with the next highest interest rate, and so on. A different strategy is to pay off the little bills first, then concentrate on the bigger loans. Number 15. Set aside funds in case of emergency. According to experts, you should keep a reserve of three to six months worth of living expenditures on hand. By being ready for unforeseen risks in this way, you can prevent a little financial problem from becoming a huge one. Number 16. Secure your future. Additionally, it's crucial to be prepared for retirement. Although a lot of people might believe it is already too late, it is still better than never. One of the most important aspects of financial literacy is creating a suitable retirement plan. The first step in retirement planning is to take your age and desired retirement date into account. The next step is to calculate your projected retirement expenses. Next, determine if your retirement fund will be able to produce the needed income after taxes by calculating the investment rate of return. After that, start saving money in making the right retirement investments. You've undoubtedly begun to realize the importance of financial literacy by this point. You're probably also trying to figure out what impact this will have on your money, both now and in the future. You also have advice to put you on the correct track. No matter how financially literate you are, you should continue to expand your knowledge. Any action you take is a step in the right direction if you want to better manage your finances. To just beginning is the key. You may make better informed and assured financial decisions by using the principle of knowledge is power. We are aware that the earlier you master the fundamentals of money management, the more secure and prosperous your financial future will be. Although it's never too late to start studying, getting a head start is advantageous. Education is the first step into the realm of money. The majority of our financial decisions will be based on the pillars of banking, budgeting, saving, using credit responsibly, investing, and incurring debt. Financial literacy is crucial because it gives you the tools you need to manage your money and prevent financial hardship. You leave yourself up to developing poor money habits if you lack a foundational grasp of finances. Check out our description section below for items that will help you along in your wealth journey. Here are two more videos on this financial subject.